All right. Today is Saturday, July 7th, 2018 at 12.34 p.m. Let's see what came across my news feed. All right. Japan floods. Dozens killed and deluged in landslides. Flooding and landslides have killed at least 50 people and left dozens missing in western areas of Japan. Most of the deaths have occurred in Hiroshima Prefecture, which has been hit by torrential rain since Thursday. Hundreds of homes have been damaged. About 1.5 million people have been ordered to leave their homes, and 3 million more advised to do so. Thousands of police, firefighters, and soldiers are taking part in search and rescue operations. Some of the victims have been, burned al have been buried alive by landslides, Japan's Kyoto News Agency reports. Wow. Praying for all those people out there in Japan. Hopefully they get to higher ground and safe. Wow. That's devastating. Alright, next article says, Up to 54 deaths linked to southern Quebec heat wave. So apparently there's a heat wave happening in Quebec. A heat wave in the southern part of the Canadian province of Quebec has been linked to 54 deaths, officials say. The sweltering weather began last Friday with temperatures hitting 35C or 95 degrees, high humidity, and a, on the last day a smog advisory. The death toll climbed every day this week, with most of the victims between the ages of 50 to 85. This summer heat wave was among the worst the province has seen in decades, officials say. It lasted two days longer than a similar five-day period of extreme heat in 2010, but heat warnings were lifted overnight on Friday as temperatures began to cool. Yeah, it began to cool here um, in the East Coast as well. So, guys, people who live close to elderly people or know of a neighbor that's uh, higher in age, check on them in the summertime if it gets too hot. Yeah, because people here that passed away were between the ages of 50 to 85. They probably forgot to hydrate or it was too hot for them. So please keep an eye on your neighbors if you can. Stay safe out there, guys. All right. The next article is about Hurricane Barrel. Hurricane Barrel may weaken, but Puerto Rico and the Caribbean are on alert. The year's first Atlantic hurricane could reach eastern Caribbean islands by late Sunday at or near hurricane strength, putting a string of islands strung by last year's at devastating hurricanes on alert. Hurricane Barrel on Saturday morning churned over the tropical Atlantic with sustained winds of 75 miles an hour, near the low end Category 1 status, about 780 miles east-southeast of the Lesser Antilles, the arc of islands extending from the U.S. Virgin Islands to Grenada. Barrel could weaken to a tropical storm before it hits some of those islands late Sunday or early morning, the National Hurricane Center said. Alright, so Hurricane Barrel may weaken, but people are on alert and they are getting prepared. Yeah, I've heard uh, through Facebook that a lot of people in Puerto Rico are already flooding the stores and, you know, getting all the food and water they need way beforehand. And that's good to be prepared for hurricane season. Alright. Students send human spit, baby teeth, and more to space for science. I found this one interesting. Uh, I, I found it like a cool thing kids would do with their classes. Glads, beads, broccoli, severed worms, baby teeth, and a whole lot of human spit are flying in space as part of student-designed experiments. On June 29, students watched as the experiments they designed and built soared into the pre-dawn Florida sky on their way to the International Space Station. Experiments launched aboard, aboard SpaceX Dragon cargo ship on the CRS-15 cargo delivery mission for, for NASA, and the Dragon arrived at the space station this week. The students were led by DreamUp, an organization that aims to bring space into the classroom and classrooms into space, according to the website. The project involves students from the continents for its launch, and its aim to be inclusive, Carrie Lamott, co-founder and CEO of DreamUp, told Space.com uh, the participating students designed their experiments entirely on their own, and the concepts they came up with are both applicable in the real world and extremely creative, Lamott said. So... 
there's a whole bunch of baby teeth, human spit, worms, and a lot of cool kid experiments in space. And I find that really cool that they got the classrooms experiments to actually go into real life space. Alright, so that's the first video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video.